as we all may know. know. We are heard by all the countless media reports and all the gimmicky segments on television. <clears throat> a 17-year-old man by the name of Trayvon Martin was murdered, shot by a 28-year-old watchman. Unfortunately, that statement is the most legitimate thing that's ever came out of this whole situation. Other than the fact that uh, Trayvon Martin had a bag of Skittles and a kid in Arizona. While Zimmerman was on the phone for a 911 dispatcher before he got out of his car when he wasn't supposed to. While the situation is unfortunate and should never happen to anybody's child, the fallout from the event has led everyone nationwide, perhaps worldwide, on a roller coaster tirade of terrible police work, criminal records, and countless protests. Before the tragic event, the mainstream media was busy complaining about Rihanna's birthday cake remix. 2012, and how ass Carl Anthony is on the New York Knicks. York Knicks. And that's before the coach got fired. Or, or quit. <clears throat> Ever since this event made the news, it seems like networks like CNN cannot go three minutes without saying his name. Or Zerman's name. They didn't light up with natural inquiry like stories about Zimmerman and his ever dying obsession of becoming a cop. Almost like a pornographic exception. Or Trayvon Martin's questionable hood rat like personality. Well, it almost feels like it's become a network wide policy or an instant internet custom report, distribute, or even discuss anything related to the situation. Anything? It feels like the mainstream media is becoming even more distant from what it's supposed to be doing, giving society an accurate description of the story the reporter report discussed. Discuss. Trayvon Martin was somebody's child and apparently somebody's boyfriend. Even though his social life didn't match the childhood photos that were in every single crack and crevice in the mainstream media, he didn't do anything that night that would trigger such an unfortunate, unfortunate confrontation. confrontation. I believe Trayvon was shot by Mr. Zimmerman simply for the fact that Trayvon was defending himself. I mean, wouldn't you defend yourself if you saw some random guy walk towards you with a gun or something? I mean, and Zimmerman shot him because he was getting trashed by Trayvon. I'm 5'11", just imagine Trayvon, his head would barely hit. He was getting beat down though, he was getting trashed. Um, <laughs> I consider the shooting cowardly only because Zimmerman approached Trayvon first. I mean, something the 911 dispatcher told him not to do. Unfortunately, we have a little bit of George Zimmerman in all of us. I mean, when we see some black or Latino in the streets in a hoodie, the stereotypes fill our mind like Mass Square Garden Friday night. night. The stereotypes fill our mind like Mass Square, Square Garden during insanity. We as a society need to lay off the CNNs and People magazines and be more open-minded about the, the situations that occur like this. We can't be narrow-minded like we were with Muslims after 9-11. Because not all Muslims are into hijacking. Or not, and not all Muslims were refrain from pork. All jokes aside, like it, everything isn't like it seems. And this Trayvon Martin incident is a prime example of that. One more thing we should consider thinking about, though, is the fact that hoodies do indeed create stereotypes, unfortunately. And at the least, we should find a bit of an alternative, like a sweater. I mean, we didn't need a Fox News journalist with a crazy WB Mason mustache to tell us that. <coughs> I mean, at least until a Dateline special or a credible source of information like a documentary comes out, we should only base the story on the basic details that come out of it and put the inside edition quality stories aside. aside. Those revelations are not making anything better. It's just fueling the anger that is felt nationwide for this poor kid. I mean, in the meantime, we need to hope and pray that this doesn't happen to another son or another boyfriend. No, seriously, I hope this doesn't happen to anybody else. I'm going to throw my television out the window the next time CNN plays a Trayvon Martin segment. Thank you.